here's a really great question. And if you read it, it says, use trigonometric ratios to determine the lengths of two things, A, B, and A, C. And I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. Yes, you can use the trigonometric ratios if you like for part of it, but you can actually go back and use Pythagoras for the second part. Let's figure out a few things first. Oh, my goodness. Let's go to this first. Let's go to our old standby here. Label the triangle. There's your hypotenuse. There's your reference angle, making this the opposite. And you've got here the adjacent. All right. So what you want to do is you want to figure out both AB and AC. Well, pick one. Don't try to do too many things at one time. One at a time. I'm going to pick a, B first, okay? So what I want to do is determine that length right there. Okay, easy peasy, here we go. I'm dealing with opposite and I'm dealing with the adjacent. So if I'm dealing opposite and adjacent, okay, go to your Sokotoa. Who is opposite and adjacent? Well, there's opposite and there's adjacent. It's gotta be tangent. So tangent of the angle, which is 71 degrees, equals to our opposite, which we don't know, okay, over our adjacent of 147. All right, simple, simple, cross multiply, let's go. Bring up the calculator, okay, move it over, clear, here it is, okay, 10 of 71, 10, 71, don't forget the bracket, times 147 equals I've got 426.9, and it says to the nearest meter, if you look, 426.9, 426.9 is 427 meters right there. So that's your opposite side, 427 meters. Done. Okay. Now, here's the other thing that's interesting. You have two options now. If you want to find the hypotenuse... You can use trigonometry again. Easy. Why? Because you still have the adjacent and you're now trying to find the hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse is cosine. Now you're probably saying to yourself, well, why didn't you use this new number that you just figured out here? Well, it is a rounded number. It's, it is a calculated number, which is a rounded number, which is going to give you a little bit of an, an error. You don't want any errors. Stick with what was given in the question when you're solving. That's probably the best thing you can do. So here we go. Adjacent hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse it is our cosine. Okay. All right. Let's go. Cosine of the angle, which is 71 degrees, is adjacent, which is 147, over the hypotenuse, which is what you're trying to find. Cross multiply again. Cross multiply the numbers. One times 147, you betcha, is 147. This equals to our hypotenuse times our cos 71. Let me get rid of some of this stuff and get some more room in here. There we go. So our hypotenuse times the cos of 71. To solve for hypotenuse, get rid of cos 71 by dividing both sides. Divide both sides by cos 71. Look at this. That cancels that, leaving hypotenuse equals to, here we go, bring up the calculator, 147 divided by the cos of 71 equals to 451.5, so 452, 452 meters. Now, you can do that or... You'll notice down here, I've actually written this out a second time, okay? I've written this out a second time down here. Remember that this actually is 427 here. You can use, once you are at that stage and you have this, you can use your old, old faithful a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay? Check it out. There's 147 squared plus 427 again you might get an answer that's a little off because remember 427 was a rounded number okay and you just have to solve for c squared so bring up your calculator here we go okay 147 squared plus 
427 squared gives you that value. And don't forget, you have to inverse square it or square root it. Second answer, and you get a value of 451.5, which is 452. 452 meters. Now, remember, was that our length of our hypotenuse? Let's go back and check and see how accurate our rounding was. Sure enough, 452 here and 452 here, even with our rounding, we got the same answer. So you got several different ways you can do this now. You can either do this with trig, or you can go back to Pythagoras, good old, good old, old faithful Pythagoras.